What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we've got a new product by Azul. This is the Byte 3 Mini Desktop PC. In the past, I looked at another mini PC by Azul and it's great, I use it every day. Hello? Hey, I just started. Anyway, go check that out. I'll put the link, I'll put it right here. Click right, it's gonna be right. So I have no doubt that this one, the Byte 3, is going to be good. You can tell by the box, it's pretty compact. So we got a quad-core Intel Apollo Lake N3450 processor. It's got 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, LP DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs of storage. Also, it can take an SD card up to 256 gigs, so you can expand that, which is pretty good. It actually has an M.2 slot. Now, what's awesome is in this little tiny box, it's pushing out 4K at 60 frames per second. So it has some power in it. Plus on top of that, of course, it's got Wi-Fi. Now it is running uh, Windows 10 Pro, full Windows 10 Pro. You don't have to purchase anything. It's got it built right into it. So the GPU is an Intel HD Graphics 500. Without further ado, let's open this up. Happy with the purchase? Something wrong with purchase? Let them know, cool. Uh, instruction guide, doubt we're gonna need it. All right, cables. Oh man, this little box is just packed full of stuff. This is the, it's basically tape that goes over the M.2 that will help disperse the, the heat of the M.2 itself. But you got the nice little connections in here plus a little screws to mount it. Then you've got your basic, what is that? What's going on here? Oh cool, it's universal. That's really cool. Actually, I'm kind of digging that. All right, so since I'm in the US, boom, there you go. Basic adapter. And then of course you've got your remote. Oh man, that I'm really digging that remote. This is totally made for a TV, for sure. Wow, that is really nice. You got your power, you got your settings, your mute, you got your directional pad plus middle for enter, home tab back, up and down for volume. Super thin, little battery compartment right here. There we go, takes a button cell battery. Oh cool, it's got the uh, similar pattern as the other one, but this is definitely larger. It's light, but it doesn't feel cheap. Okay, so on the front, you got, I don't know, well, we'll find out. I'm not sure if this lights up or not, but you got, uh, looks like the IR sensor for the remote, your power button. So right here, you got your SD slot, USB 3 slot, a USB 2 slot. Then you got a headphone jack. You've got one of those little locks, so if you want to lock it down. You got another two USB 3 slots, Ethernet port, HDMI out, VGA, you got your DC port, and then you actually have a C type, a USB C type port. Very cool. And then, of course, you've got your Wi-Fi antenna. On this side, you, it looks like you just have vents, little air vents. And then on the bottom, uh, nothing. Nice metal plate. The whole thing feels like it's really well made. Okay, cool. Well, let's let's set this thing up. Let's turn it on. Okay, so now we are set up. I pulled out my Microsoft keyboard and mouse. Crank it on. Lights up blue. What's gonna happen? Azul. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to log in. All right, I'm gonna go through this boring part without you. Fast forward. All right, well, there we go, it's here. Um, so what can I do with this? Probably wanna use this for is if, say you have your, have it set up like with the home media stuff, like you, you know, you've got your, your, your whole home media stuff going. <laughs> but as far as like functionality, yeah, I mean, you could, you could totally use this. I mean, use the tiles and all that. What happens when I do that? Yeah, you can go straight into settings. Oh yeah, that is for volume. Definitely use this one, say you're gonna, you know, turn on a movie or something like that, for sure that would come in handy, but this is a computer and uh, I'm using the keyboard. Okay, so, oh, now this one, this one has four gigs of RAM, but you can get the upgraded version, which is eight gigs of RAM. Okay, so there we go. I mean, it's right now it's at one, 1 1.10 gigahertz. Now this is not a 4K monitor. I don't have just a 4K monitor sitting around. So, uh, Samsung or Sony or LG or anybody, Send send me one over. Here. So most importantly, yes, it's gonna run a movie. It's gonna run your Netflix and your shows and all that, which is great. I mean, uh, you know, that's that's fine. But can it game? I'm gonna go to canirunit.com or sorry, systemrequirementslab.com. Can I run it? It's a pretty good website. I've been using it for a long time. Oh, it doesn't even meet the minimum requirements. So based off of Can I Run It, it's not going to run. Uh, it's not going to run like Grand Theft Auto or Wolfenstein. So it's not like a high-end gaming computer. It's definitely going to be more for entertainment. Okay, so with the remote, this is what I'm interested in. So say you're on Netflix. So you're you're you use the arrow keys to go up and down. Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna download the, the Netflix app because the web browser version, obviously it's not made for like a remote like this. It's made for a keyboard and mouse. 
Okay, so it's easy to pull it up, and then once you're actually in the app, again, it, yeah. It's a really nice remote, but what am I supposed to use it for? It's a computer. You use a keyboard and mouse, even in the app. I mean, this is even the app. Let's watch some Grease. Let's not. Maybe Hulu or something like that would work better with a remote, I don't know. Okay, so, final conclusion, uh, it's not bad. It, it's not a bad little computer. Just for media entertainment, it's not a bad idea. It does push out 4K at 60 frames per second, so that's good. It doesn't seem to be really slow or anything. It runs just fine. It does what it says it does. But, again, I would really like to be able to use this but I don't really see, um, I don't really see a function. I don't really see a practical way of using this on a Windows 10 uh, operating system. I'll stick with my keyboard and mouse combo. And then on top of that, I'm really kind of impressed that they would throw an M.2 slot in here for, um, for expanding. Should we open it? I think we should. There we go, M.2 slot right there. And what's going on here? Oh, I'm glad I opened it. So the inside, you, it actually has a mount for a 2.5 SSD. So you can expand the hard drive here and you can put an, a, an M.2 in there. You've got cables already in there, your SATA cables and power. I would call this my movie box, really. I would throw all my movies on there. That's exactly what this would be good for. I gotta say, that's not bad. Anyway guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below. As usual, you guys know what to do. Go check it out for yourself, but as for now, get out of here.